you okay? I thought you almost busted your head. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I know we haven't been pushing out as many videos as we had once before, but we're working on some stuff. So thanks for all of you who are still supporting and for helping me reach 80,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's really awesome. So in the meantime, I just wanted to do mail time uh, with you. Uh, have a PO box. So if you want to mail me something, the address is below in the description. But I got a bunch of stuff piling up in my post office box. So we decided to go ahead and open it. And the first one, actually, I kind of jumped the gun and I already opened it. But John, if you want to read the note from mm -hmm. the person and then... It's right here. It's from Canada. And they say, Dear Christine, you are the real Wonder Woman. Love and prayers from Canada. Swamna Samuel. Sounds like a Indian name. So this was contained in the package. Is it right side up? Yeah. And... Inside is a cool little collector's coin with John told me is Elizabeth is Elizabeth or Victoria on it? Elizabeth? No, it's just a comic book version of oh. Wonder Woman. And and it's on an actual ten dollar coin. And someone said in the comments that uh -huh. it was like ten year anniversary or hundred year anniversary of Canada. I can't remember what they said. And they released a bunch of commemorative coins. I see. But this is what they sent me from Canada is some children's books and it's in braille. So this one I think is like what's in the egg because I read that on the bottom in braille. And then this one is like a little bit higher level of reading. So for example, if I read in braille down here, this says rubies, wait, right? My braille reading is slow. Rubies nap. I guess that's what the book is called, Ruby's Nap, right? Yeah. I'll read the first page for you, bro. This feels like story time. This is Ruby the cat. Yeah. <laughs> so these are children's books. They seem handmade and there's like tactile graphics on them. Yeah, so it's like, like different textures on the other pages. Yeah, so, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Dude, I would have loved this as a kid because I like loved like, even when I had vision as a kid, like I loved the tactile books. Oh, I'm totally gonna read this after mail time. So thanks for sending me these. We'll have reading time. Yeah, and then if you want more information, I'll include some stuff about um, if these are being sold or whatever. I'll yeah. put them in the description after the fact. Thanks for the coin. John's probably more excited. He loves uh, comic stuff. So here's another box. You need a knife? You just really want to use a knife. Oh, got it. This one's long overdue. Oh, we must have received this one. <laughs> so here's what's inside. Oop, I think I dropped something. This is from a company called Treats. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Oh, wow. Maracas. Donna, Donna, Peppa, oh, I bet it's like international Trump. treats. Yeah. Like you can get treats from all over the world. It's probably like a treat subscription service. It's from Peru. Oh, really? Yeah, all these snacks are from Peru. And we're oh, Peru. we're about to go to Peru. This is a perfect prelude to that. Oh, that's cool. So we should probably do like a, um, a taste, a Christine tries Peruvian snacks video so. using these. Yeah, I mean, right now I don't want to like eat all these right now because it's gonna make the video super long and it's a mail time video, not a Christine Pies. But so these are Peruvian snacks. So I guess I think this company it's called what is it, John Treats? Yeah. I think you can get different themed uh, international treats from around the world, and I think it's like a subscription base. So I'll put more of that information in the description as well. Okay. Thank you, Treats. Okay. What should I open next? This one feels a little heavy. Maybe I'll open this. No, other side. Other side? Yeah, it's upside I'm using. You want to read it, John? Some stuff on top. This feels like it's a magnet or something, or I don't know. Okay, so this is from. Hi Christine, I'm excited that you are interested in trying our products and I can't wait to hear your feedback. You have been a great inspiration to me. Keep up the good work. From Cooking Irene. 
Happy cooking, Irene. This seems like maybe just a magnet or a note. It's a note. flexible bowl scraper. Oh, I get it. It's like a bench scraper, which I love because it like but it's helps a bowl. you clean. Yeah, but this one you can like scrape out the bowl to get everything, which is helpful when you're vision paired or even if you have vision and you don't necessarily want to use your hands to scrape everything out because sometimes you don't have, the spoon won't reach everything. This will make it easier. I already see the strategy in that. And this is, is this the front? Yeah. What is this? It's a 12 piece set stainless steel measuring cup and spoon. Okay, let's see how they can all, always use spoons and measuring cups. So Irene must be, have started her own cooking equipment company or something. Oh, they're heavy. Yeah, her company is called um, Indigo True. And you can run into the dishwasher carefully. It's like all twisted up. Oh my god. It was heavy duty. Here, but here. they have some... Uh, you can do this one. They do have some like tactile like feel on the outside. Okay, see I what I like about these cups is that they lay flush. So you see how they stack inside each other? These um, dry goods measuring cups, they stack in very neatly. So then you can put them in a drawer and then they don't get caught. Because my pet peeve is when cups start stacking and then they start doing this and then you close a drawer and then it gets caught. It's those little things that you don't really think about until you have a lot of experience using these. And then these are the spoons, heavy duty. Oh, nice. And I'm actually planning on put, getting John to put in a magnet strip in the kitchen for me to hang my measuring spoons and stuff so it'll be easier for me to locate. Oh. It's a magnet with measurement conversions, I think. Oh. Uh, well, for the, the sided cook. Yeah. So I guess you could just hang this and then easily see yeah. conversions. Cool. cool. Thanks, Irene. Indigo True, right? Yeah, Indigo True. Oh. Can you read me, like, what city this person's from that sent me this? It's from Jeff from Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh. I think I was expecting something from Jeff. Oh wait, I guess that's what he's- Small over here. Here, John, you use your knife to open it. My pet peeve is opening letters all crooked and jagged. So I always have to use a letter opener, which I don't have next to me right now. I think it's something that my parents always uh, did growing up, so you can have it for me to use a letter opener. It feels thick, like a wedding invitation. Letter, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Christina and John. I talked with Christina on Facebook about sending you gift cards so that you can eat, uh, mail order some food that are popular in, and in some cases, unique to Cincinnati, Ohio. I hope these cards will be enough to let you order a variety of items and also come with shipping. We've been cool. waiting to do something nice for you guys for a long time. Don't use the website listed on the card. The website to order from is cincyfavorites.com. Skyline Chief. So he has some recommendations on here. Okay. Well, right. tell me first. What are they from? I just showed them to the camera, but I have no idea if they were upside see? down or right it's side up. Backwards. Like backwards? So I need to do yeah. this? Oh my gosh! This whole time I've been doing them backwards. Oh my god! It's a hundred bucks. Oh my god! Let me see the other so, other cards. <laughs> we're gonna have a feast, Jeff. Thanks. Oh my god! It's three hundred bucks total. Dang! We're gonna have a feast, Jeff. Okay, I'm I mean, gonna he's take. He's like it. wondering, like, where the hell are they? this is video. <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you so much, Jeff. We're definitely gonna take your recommendations and go to that website that you listed and order what you recommend and then we'll do a video for you. All right, next box. Are these the only two left? Yeah. Okay, so two more. These are pretty big. N-A-N. Nah, She's not a fan. I don't know, could be short for Nancy. Cut yes. <laughs> oh, in a bag, in a grocery bag. It smells fruity, so I think it might be like fruit candies in here. Is this a letter? Yeah. Or in hey, it has all these Wonder Woman stickers on it. Really? Super Woman and That's Batgirl. Cool. Wait, let me see. There's stickers on it. I've gotten two female superhero things in the mail, so now I know what people associate with me. 
Alright, it says... Dear Chef Christine, you are an inspiring, amazing person. I became a fan of yours when I watched Master Chef as I became a fan of Chef Gordon Ramsay. I enjoy watching your vlog with your husband John as you guys travel the world, <laughs> tasting different cuisine. I'm sending you some items for you, Christine, for your Christine try. Sriracha is my favorite sauce. They offer That's tours John's. for visitors. Take care, Nan. Thank yeah. you. Here's, please email me any upcoming events. Thank you. So she's from Houston? Yeah. It sent us a or, Houston Texans like note. Uh, oh, how cute. Letterhead. Well, thank you. Shrimp chips. Oh, the, yeah. The Love Korean this shrimp stuff. Chips, Love. Mama, uh, instant noodles, lychee jelly. That's uh, what I was smelling. Dang, what is this? Some roasted cashew. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's, it's uh, potato chips, but it's sriracha flavor. Oh, I bet you'll like that. That's your favorite. Well, thank you. Okay, we'll do a video for this one too. So we need to, why don't I put that note back in here so when we okay. do the video, we'll remember who it's from okay. and then we can. This one? Yeah, I think it's from the same people. Can is it? Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, two things. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use a knife to open this one. Okay. I don't want to. Please handle with care. There you go. So much anticipation. To stand up because it's tall. This is like very carefully packaged. This is bubble wrap? Mm hmm. It's a Bucky's bag. A Bucky's bag? How funny. Is Bucky's only in the south? Grip, so it's gonna just go out. Oh, okay. Is Bucky's only in the South? I think so. So Bucky's is like a big, clean convenience store that you find driving. It's a gas station. Oh yeah, like a gas station, but they're huge and they're known for like clean restrooms and you can buy like the jerky, nuts, whatever for your road trip. Oh, it is. It's Bucky stuff. <laughs> that is cool. I've never had any of the food there. So, look this at this. I guess nuggets. So they have their Turn own around. line of stuff? Yeah, it's beaver nuggets. What are beaver nuggets? I think they're like corn puffs, but like with caramel on it. Interesting. We can probably do a whole video on that. Yeah, I think this could be a video too. This? Uh, that's dried okra. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, dried veggie chips. Turn around, upside down. It's uh, Sea salted beaver nuggets. Sea salted caramel. Beaver. What? So beaver nuggets are a thing. And then roasted and salted pecan halves. Nice. This must be expensive because pecans aren't cheap. Thanks so much, Nan the fan. Okay, we're gonna have to do a separate taste test on Bucky's too. So that's it, right? Yeah, that's Finished it. Finish my mail. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks guys for tuning in uh, to my mail time, and then. Uh, continue tuning in later for when we do actual like Christine tries like different snacks. So anything else to say, John? We got Christine tries driving coming up. <laughs> We're in, that's in the making as well. But thanks for, uh, like I said, thanks for giving us 80,000 subscribers. Oh, and then cooking video, we have a cooking video coming up. Yeah, we do have a cooking video coming up, which is by popular request. So thanks guys, bye. Hey, this is nice. It's nice having people that like you.